they were shining the lights in his eye and he kind of went like this and backed up and when he did he kind of crouched down a little bit and, and, that, and he was shot. Parents speaking out as students protest the shooting of their son, a student at Grand Valley State University. We have team coverage of the officer-involved shooting of Derek Kopp and the fallout from that incident. We begin with 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker, who spoke with the young man's parents today. The parents of a Grand Valley State University student shot by police say they can't make sense of the shooting. It nearly killed their son, 20-year-old Derek Kopp. Why, they wonder, would a deputy shoot an unarmed man? He never even had a chance to even see who was coming at him with a bright flashlight in his face. Did they find any drugs? And why didn't police call them? Police, they say, aren't giving them answers. So the only answers are coming from their son, from his hospital bed. Yeah, he had no clue. He heard someone knock on his door, and that's, he had no clue. Cop told his parents he was studying with a classmate in their off-campus apartment. Then came a knock. He told his parents he did not know police were at the door. The next thing he knew, he told his parents, a bright light was shining in his eyes. They were shining the lights in his eye, and he kind of went like this and backed up, and when he did, he kind of crouched down a little bit, and, that, and he was shot, and it kind of went through him this way. The bullet struck cop in the upper right chest, broke ribs, punctured a lung, pierced his liver. Doctors say they plan to remove the bullet from his lower back today. State police today told 24-Hour News 8 the investigation is moving slowly. The deputy state police say is, quote-unquote, not necessarily talking with investigators. Cops' parents called him a good kid who wants to make movies. And yes, they say he may have smoked marijuana. He's not a drug dealer. He's a good kid. And, uh... He just shouldn't have been, he shouldn't have been shot for that. YouTube videos their son created are filled with drug references. Uh, right after a quick break. What angers cops' mother most is how they learned about the shooting. They got a call at 3 in the morning Thursday, six hours after the shooting. It wasn't from police, it was from the hospital. It was my son's nurse and my son calling to inform us that he had been shot and nobody even called us. My son had a call from his hospital bed to tell us that he had been shot. Cops' parents say their son is awake. He is laughing and joking. And he's thinking about making a movie based on the shooting. In Grand Rapids, Ken Kolker, 24-Hour News 8. Cop has not been arrested and is not currently facing any criminal charges.